So day number three, uh, we've been back to Ikea again for like the fifth billion time. Um, I'll give you a bit of an update. So we've got these lights up from Ikea, look pretty cool, pretty impressed with those. There's Luke over there. I'm going to um, show my battle room from where you smash me in the face with rocks. <laughs> and then we've just got all of this, so it's a sofa from Ikea, surprise surprise the sofa came in a flat pack. So there's literally so many boxes, I, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> um, and right literally... Done, right on two tip runs. Yeah. Or boxes. And, and look at all the on. boxes we've got now. Honestly. And then you've got to put all the covers on separately as well. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. But yeah, I'm loving the way it's looking so far. It's looking good. My table is a favourite. And I'll just show you some bits I picked up as well. So we picked up um, a smart remote because we didn't have any one for this TV we've got. And then I've got some of these frames from Ikea because I'm going to use these in the kitchen. Um, picked up oh this extra large uh, fringe throw from the range. I think it was like £15-16 pounds to go over the sofa. That's really nice. Um, I also got a clothes rail for my beauty room. Um, got my cat Barbara a little toy. And then I've got another diffuser, of course, grapefruit and lime. Um, and then I did get some bathroom bits. So there's the soap dish. And then I got a matching soap dispenser and um, toothbrush holder, but I don't know where they are right now. But yeah, that's the update. So I'll show you us struggling to put this sofa up, maybe on a time lapse. And then hopefully, the living room is all more like an actual living room. Oh, there is another box through there as well. Um, but yeah, we're getting there, slowly. Us, like just shot off three hours like when I say flat pack we literally had to put all the, the fabric on literally the full works so let me show you how it's looking so here it is it's in like a beige color um, and it's like the layout one so uh, Luke demonstrate what? demonstrate how you lay on the sofa oh, I hate this sofa already. but don't put your dirty socks on it no how you lay on it oh, how you lay on it honestly I swear he's deaf no that's not Right, give up with him. Um, and then we've got the additional headrest, but to me don't look right, they look a bit funny. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna put my throw on it. Got the TV there. And that's got the rug here. And that's just how it's looking at the moment. So I'm we've pretty- still gotta put the photo frames on. Yeah, yeah, we've still gotta put these over here. Um, but I think we're just probably just gonna put those up. Um, and then that'll probably be, <laughs> be it for tonight because we need some food. Um, and I will update you later. Hello everyone, this is moving vlog number two. Um, so, I think today is like the fifth, fifth day of moving in. We've got quite a lot done actually, which is really good. Um, Luke and his brother are just putting my drawers up upstairs so I can finally get my wardrobe slash beauty room set up. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of the living room because it's pretty much done and I'm absolutely loving it. And then I've just got a few um, home decor parcels as well which I thought I would unbox with you. Exciting. So this is what we're looking at. Excuse some of the boxes in here. But you've seen the dining table but there it is again. I've um, got the prints up there. And then the big reveal of the sofa which you won't have seen yet. How amazing is that? I'm absolutely loving it. So I've got that throw over there. One of the Ikea rugs over the side, which I do need another one for over there. But look at that. 
I mean, cosy days at its finest. I also want some cushions to go here as well. Um, TV unit, basket over there. And then I do want like a plant, something here, but I've ordered a bean bag as well for over here for additional seating. Kitchen still looks the same. Um, a few boxes here because I did actually get this delivered today which you'll have seen on my Insta if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I got the shark lift away and I can confirm it's amazing. So yeah I'm just going to show you um, what I got in these boxes. So first up we've got this. So I'm just going to open this up which I think I already know what this is but I'm so excited for this. If I can get it out. I don't know if you can tell what it is yet, but it's basically one of them chunky knit throws. And I got it really cheap on eBay, I think it was only like £15 or something. And I thought this would look really good on the sofa. Um, it's got a very yellow tone to it though, I was hoping it was cream. If you can see it's quite yellowy, but let's see if I can actually get it out of the packaging. Here we go. Oh, it is so soft. But when I was taking the package off, it does break very easily. So this is definitely um, more for show than for actually using. But wow, Let's see how big it is. So it's not massive. No, it's not very big. No, it's actually really small. It's really quite small. I'll see if I can show you how big it actually is. So it's really not that big. But I'm going to find a place for this because that is so cute. And then next up in this box, also very interesting, this is actually from my beauty room, um, so it's a set of three wick baskets, um, so three, and the reason I've got these, it's from my beauty room, so I'm going to put like all my hair products, oh, so like in the big one I'm going to put like my hair straighteners, hair dryer, hair curlers. And then in the smallest one I'm going to put like brushes, hair scrunchies, and in the middle one I'm not sure. But I thought they're really good storage and they look really cool as well, so you'll be seeing that in my beauty room transformation vlog progress. You'll see. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got to update so far. Upstairs is currently like a dumping ground, so we will get round to upstairs. Um, and I'll show you how it goes. Hi everyone. So kind of didn't get up to too much yesterday so we're now on to the next day um so i have been working all day today so i'm literally just going to do some bits now um super out of breath after coming up upstairs um yeah i've just finished my shift so i just wanted to show you a few bits upstairs and i'm actually gonna start the big task of sorting out my wardrobe slash beauty room because that's going to be a big old job um so I'm just going to show you Mine and Luke's bedroom, how it's looking first of all. It's very plain and basic at the moment, so it's literally just a TV bed and some, I think it's called like Pintuck white bedding, that's actually from Groupon, uh, £15 bargain. Uh, and then our bedside ca uh, bedside cabinets that we brought, they're not new, uh, but they are from Ikea. Um, and then we've just got a fan over here, and that is literally all we've got in here. Not that there's much room for anything else. Um, bathroom, don't know if I've given you an update on the bathroom. So we've got my Get Naked mat, looks cool. Um, again, it's very simple in here, so... Um, the only things I've really added is a baby powder candle from the range. That toilet roll that I showed in my B&M haul. And then this is a soap dispenser from the range, soap dish, toothbrush holder, again Luke ruining my simplicity look with his garbage. <laughs> uh, candle, wax burner, that's baby powder as well. So I think that smells super fresh in bathrooms. There's the mirror, there's me. <laughs> um, and I think I need to put something here, but we'll see. And then coming into this bedroom is literally a dumping ground of all of my clothes right now. Like, look at that mess. Oh my god. So this all needs organising and putting into here. So my drawers are finally up. 
These are the chest of six drawers, I think they're called Malum from Ikea. Um, so Luke put those up, finished putting those up today. And then I've got a clothes rail here from Argos with some Ikea hangers ready to put stuff on. Um, and then my trinket boxes down here as well. Um, and then this is already, I've already got my desk and that set up in here because, oh, zooming you in, um, because I had to work today obviously so I had to rush and put this up last night for this morning and I did go and pick up this brand, oh, brand new as well from Argos, it's like this gorgeous blush pink um, and it's in white and it's such a nice like padded fancy office chair and I'm, I'm loving it, it's so cool um, and then there's my full length mirror over here. Um, so yeah, it's all coming together. I have got some like rails to go up here, but I'm not sure if the walls are strong enough. And I kind of want to like decorate this like with diffusers and maybe like a mirrored tray with my perfumes and things. But basically what I'm going to do now is put stuff into here and onto here and into here to get rid of that dreaded mess over there. So time lapse, let's go. most of my like newish nicer stuff is still at my parents yes there is more clothes <laughs> um but look how ridiculous this is i mean most of these clothes on here i've also got labels on look label 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 it's terrible isn't it label like oh my god i feel like i'm running a shop up here um but yeah i think i need some more hangers as well so I I'm going to leave that for now and I'm just going to crack on with these drawers and also going to fill this with my hair products. So let's get on with those. I've just done like a mammoth, a mammoth? Is that even a word? A marathon, that's a better word. Um, of shifts working from home, so I've literally not really done anything since you last saw me filling my drawers. I did finish filling my drawers, um, so that's an update. Um, so I'll just show you how they're looking. So they're now just absolutely rams full, so I've got like my tops, bottoms, and I do have two lots of pyjamas, which is kind of embarrassing. Um, <laughs> definitely got too many pyjamas um, and the top drawer is more tops so there we go um, I think I've shown you my rail so that's my rail looking cool um, and then in these boxes I've sort of moved them over here and I've got this uh, really cute decennio print as well and some plants and in these I've just got like headbands in there and then this one, the bigger one, as I mentioned, I've just put like hair curlers and my hair straighteners go in there, but they're just a bit hot at the moment. So yeah, I love those. They just look really cute, but I never know where to keep my hair stuff, so voila, there we go. Um, I've put some fairy lights around my mirror, which is cute. Um, and yeah, that is my beauty room. 
pretty much finished. Like I said, I think I'm gonna get some, I've got some rails to go up here and I might get like a, a mirrored tray of a diffuser and candle on these drawers, which I think will look cute. But apart from that, that's my beauty room complete. And then moving on to the spare room, it's looking very bland at the moment. Um, I'll show you how it's looking. I do need to add something to it because it looks very, very sad. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. So as you come in, I've literally just got a single bed here. I've got the same um, duvet set on here because I just think it looks really nice. Um, and I've got my soft box in here and then we've just got the wardrobe and that is it. But I think it just looks a little, a little sad and a little plain. So I might get like a, um, a butler's, is there a butler's tray here? I think it would look cute. But that's all that's going on with that room right now. Not too much. And I also need light fittings for every room because I've just got hanging light bulbs, which is not a vibe. Um, and then there's not really nothing else updated to my bedroom either, apart from the fact that I've got another decennial print, print over there, which I'll zoom in. And I'm going to stay in beds because that's what I do. Um, I might put it above there, but it's quite small, so I'm not sure if it just looks better. Chilling on the bedside cabinet there. Yeah, so that is the current update for upstairs. Not much going on at the moment. It just sort of needs those extra bits and pieces now just to sort of bring it together and make it more homely and decorative is how it needs to go now. Um, so yeah, that is upstairs. I'll keep you updated as I go along. So I think that is the end of my moving vlog too because everything is pretty much done. Um, I will be doing a, like a finished house tour once I've got the rest of the bits and pieces done so you can sort of see how it looks overall when I finish decorating. But in regards to moving everything, that's everything moved. We're all moved in. A um, couple of updates I'm going to give you in here before I go, um, just to keep you totally updated. So the first thing, we did have a new delivery. So this is my new delivery. Um, it's just a brown cordial bean bag. It's actually pretty big. I don't know if that's doing it justice. But it's pretty big. Um, that was from Very, so I thought I just needed a little bit more extra seating area. Seems like the sofa's only two seater. Um, so yeah, that's vibing there. And then the other update, which is coming soon to a new vlog near you. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? I've already mentioned it. Uh, today's an exciting day. Um, our puppy is going to be arriving home, so I've got his cage ready. Um, got his bowls ready. Got us some treats, got a train spray chew stopper, hopefully it doesn't chew on my new furniture. <laughs> um, and like this bowl where you like put treats in there and apparently they play with that for hours, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm so, 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 so excited for him to come later, which I will be vlogging that because new puppy you know you've got to do that but yeah thanks for watching if you have enjoyed these movie vlogs please give it a like also subscribe because i will be doing more house related hauls um updates you name it i'll be doing it um so yeah i hope you did enjoy it and i'll see you guys in my next video